Hey guys, what's up? It's Sagatardy 2744 here today to show you guys how to jailbreak your 4.3.3 iOS devices. Now this will only work on the devices of the iPhone 4, the iPod Touch 4th generation, the iPhone 3GS, the iPod Touch 3rd generation, the iPad, and this will not be working on the iPad 2 or the Verizon iPhone. Jailbreak has not yet came out for this version on those devices. So please only be sure to try to jailbreak your iOS device that fits those uh, specifications and also be sure to have your device in 4.3.3 the current version as you guys can see right there my current version is 4.3.3 uh, first thing you want to do is go ahead and connect your device to your computer via the sync cable go to your iTunes make sure you sync and back up all your stuff so if you don't want to lose your applications and all your information that has been stored on your iOS device so please be sure to go ahead and back up and sync after you do so go ahead and shut off the device while it is connected and then we'll have to go ahead and jailbreak your iOS device. First, you want to go ahead and download it on the computer. All right, guys, so on your Windows or Mac computer, you want to go ahead and head over to tiesiphonehelp.com. Yes, I do usually use Ty's iPhone Help to get all the download links because that's where it's most convenient, and I usually watch his tutorials, which I learned how to do this. Uh, so shouts to tiesiphonehelp.com. Basically, the link will be in the description. Go ahead and check out this page. Uh, you'll need to go ahead and download your 4.3.3 firmware for your iPhone 4, your iPhone 3GS, your iPod Touch 3G, your iPod Touch 4th generation, or your iPad 1, depending on which one you're here to jailbreak. And then if you're using a Mac or Windows, go ahead and download Red Snow. Now, basically, I do recommend saving the firmwares to the desktop. And at first, I thought that that was just the updates for this, but you will actually need to go through and download these to your desktop, I recommend. And then go ahead and download Red Snow. All links will be in the description below. Uh, so on the desktop here, I have my firmware, as you guys can see right here. And over here, I have Red Snow opened. I'm going to go ahead and click Browse. And then I'm going to go ahead and locate my firmware right there. And like I said, you will need to have your iOS device powered out. And as you guys can see, this is the iPod Touch 4th generation. So I went ahead and downloaded that. It'll say IPSW successfully identified. Go ahead and click Next. It'll go ahead and process it. Uh, preparing to jailbreak the data. It should happen fairly quickly. Uh, usually you can go ahead and jailbreak this within under 5 minutes. Uh, and then you'll get the option to select what you want on your iOS device after jailbroken. I usually just recommend getting it install Cydia. You will need Cydia, so please be sure to make sure that that first box is checked in. Uh, now, it's optional to have this enabled battery percentage. I go ahead and enable the battery set percentage because I would like to see the percentage next to the battery. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and click Next. And the next thing it's going to say is DFU mode. Now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys what DFU mode is before you guys go ahead and go on to this next step. Uh, you have to get this right in order to jailbreak it. Basically what it's going to say is hold power for 3 seconds, and then hold the home button and power for about another 10 seconds, and then release the power button for about another 30 seconds, and that should put it in the DFU mode. When clicking next, it'll immediately start that process, so you'll want to go ahead and get prepared. Uh, now, basically I'm going to go ahead and click next, get prepared to press the power button, and next, hold the power button for 3 seconds. Whoops. Alright, it appears I have already been in DFU mode. So, like I said, hold the power button, menu, and then release power button. And it'll go ahead and give the timings on the screen. It'll go ahead and reload the data. As you guys can see right there, all the processes will be on the screen there. Uh, this is completely normal. This is not you going to jailbreak. Like I said, it has to be in DFU mode first. And it appears I was already in DFU ma mode. Uh, but after that, this step will happen. You'll see a whole bunch of white text, which is basically the coding for the jailbreak. And then it'll go ahead and say the jailbreak is done on your desktop. Uh, basically, you just wait until the white text is done. It'll take a while, so I'm going to go ahead and skip on through. And after the white text appears, you're going to see the little pineapple for the jailbreak logo here. Uh, with the red snow, it's going to go ahead and load up moving applications. It's going to do all those processes. And I'm going to go ahead and skip on through this. But keep in mind, all these steps are perfectly normal. I'll show you guys what happens right after this. Now once the pineapple goes away, it'll be done loading and it'll go ahead and reboot your iOS device. Once the reboot is complete, you'll be able to go ahead and type in your passcode or if there's no passcode set, 
uh, you can go ahead and do so there. It'll go ahead and load you up to your original menu, and if you scroll over, you'll actually be able to see Cydia, which identifies that your iOS device was properly jailbroken. So now, after seeing Cydia, you know your iOS device is now jailbroken. If you go ahead and enter up Cydia, it'll go ahead and load up your Cydia. It'll prepare the file, files and everything. And now your device is officially jailbroken. And that is the jailbreak tutorial for iOS 4.3.3. As you guys can see, it's pretty simple. And if you go ahead, do go ahead and back up and sync all your files, all your information, and all your applications, it'll go ahead and it'll preload those on here so you won't lose any of those. And it'll just add the little icon of Cydia. I don't notice any speed and differences here, uh, so it does look like a pretty good jailbreak, and it looks like a pretty reliable jailbreak at first. I want to go ahead and thank you guys all for watching this Agatha 2744. Please be sure to go ahead and subscribe for more of the iPhone, iPad Touch, and iPad. Please be sure to also go ahead and comment, um, thumbs up. I usually get back to all your comments if you guys have any questions about this jailbreak, maybe if you're having any trouble. You shouldn't have any trouble if you follow those directions, uh, but for, if for some reason you do, I usually do get back to those questions. Uh, if I don't, if you're a viewer and you know the answer to the question, please feel free to go ahead and answer that. That'll be a huge amount of help for me and the person who has asked the question. Please also be sure to go ahead and visit in the description below. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and my live shows. Thank you guys for watching. This is Agatha 2744.